Hello, I'm Greg Nichols, the Science and Technology Advisor for the Homeland Defense and Security Information Analysis Center. Today we're going to talk about uses of alternative energy and infrastructure. So one of the ways that we can uh, provide energy to a variety of, of different locations is through uh, solar power, right? We can take different types of panels and materials and collect energy from the sun. And people have actually been using this for a long time. And in fact, the production of solar panels has gotten so much better that the efficiency has increased 70% over the past seven years, and the cost they manufacture these have actually um, decreased quite a bit. And so one of the ways that people are looking at um, you know, new methods of combining not only the collection of energy, but also using it for something like improving infrastructure is putting solar panels into roads. And in fact, we've actually seen this in France, in Normandy in 2016, the world's first solar power road opened as a one kilometer, one kilometer stretch of road, uh, but it um, accompanies about 2,000 uh, cars a day. And so and what you need to actually make a solar power road is pretty simple. You need uh, solar panels, and the solar panels have uh, wires that are connected to uh, little substations that hold the charge and distribute it to other areas of the power grid. And then they actually light up at night. They use the light emitting diodes or the LED lights. Um, the solar power roads are covered in some sort of um, you know, hard epoxy, almost like a bulletproof glass in a way, and it can accommodate about 250,000 pounds. Uh, some of the drawbacks to the solar power roads is that they're still relatively expensive to make, uh, so they're not very cost effective right now. And and the um, energy production is still fairly low, um, but they could be useful in things like sidewalks, uh, bike paths, so things not quite as large as a road for right now, but other things that might be good for pedestrian traffic. So thanks for tuning in today. I want to remind you, you can find out more information about solar power roads on hdiac.org, and don't forget to follow us on Twitter.